How's it been going? Time for another episode of the Jank Diaz Podcast. Ah, fuck, how long has it been? So my last episode was for Halloween, actually, and it is now March. Yes. Yes? Yes. It's going to be March now. Uh, ooh. Do I want to... Do I want to stream this? You know what? I do, actually. Do, 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 do. Give me a. Uh... I'm gonna log into stream. I, I gotta switch my uh, stream, my stream, my Twitch uh, menu description, but I can't say ass on there. So it's just gonna be jankity a podcast. Or you, you notice if you followed me. Uh, back in the uh, the gutsy ass gamer days, which are coming back, I'll explain that in a bit. My Twitch handle is gutsy a gamer, because ass is a bad word, just like every other word that's gonna be on this fucking show. Uh, okay, so starting streaming. There we go. Now we're also on Twitch on gutsy a gutsy a gamer. Sorry, you know what's up. Anyways, welcome back. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot. I'm finally back in this position where, like, my, uh, you know, my, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, my life is now not in, like, free fall anymore. Basically, I was dealing with a lot of it, which I, I talked about most of this, uh, before. In the Halloween episode before. Uh, since then... I did, uh, I ended up going back home for, you know, the holidays and stuff like that. So li literally, right up into Thanksgiving, uh, I didn't actually get home until the day after Thanksgiving, just because I'm still driving it, but the day before, I did stop and get some more, uh, ink, well, uh, it's all blown out, you can't really see, actually it's up here, no. I got some more, uh, work done on this piece. Yeah, you can't really see it that well, because I've got my hoodie on. I'm a hoodie guy now. Uh, up in Omaha, where, because the, the chest piece that I had, that was going around my shoulder and back, uh, I had that done when I was in college, when I was still going to Creighton in Omaha. And while driving back and forth from L.A. to South Dakota is, you know, giving me the opportunity to kind of pass through that way again. Which reminds me, I actually got to see if there's any openings for next month. Uh, so the good things that have happened is we've finally... You know what? Before I do that... drink -o time We got a uh, Fruit Punch IPA from Voodoo Ranger. Again, I'm not... Uh, Go, I'm, I'm not really going into any major detail or really alluding too much that we got uh, my drink going on because Twitch is, well, a little twitchy about these sort of things. So I'm going to do the pour down here off camera where you can't see. And it is, uh, well, the can says fruit punch. <laughs> And it does, ooh, that's pretty good. I bet it's going to be really good once the uh, the head goes away here. And we like head, but technically a different kind of head. Uh, oh, and what else I got? I'm also munching on, I've been, I've been getting into the old uh, Ritter Sports lately. And the liquor store by my house, or my apartment now, has a bunch of different kinds. This one, it's the, uh, oh, I froze up. Hold on. Come on. There we go. All right. Yeah, it's the, it's the yellow and white one. 
which you can't see because it's all blown out. Oh wait, I think yes. A wasteful noose. What is that? I have no fucking idea. I just know that <laughs> the actual pieces are white and it looks like it's got I wanna say fuck my nose is itchy. Back to this again. It looks like it has like some sort uh not walnut. Uh chestnut, I think. The description is Quadratish. Practice. Good. I'm guessing it's something practical, good. And yeah, l literally the whole thing's in German. And I guess there's uh, something about sales going to a good cause because there's like a there's like a green box with some words on it. There's a a heart logo with hands like this, so you know that's charity, right away. And then there's like a picture you can't really see it that well. There's like some African lady on there, so I'm guessing it's like you know donate. There we go, donate to a tribe. There's a little QR code in there. Oh, the only thing that's in English. Scan me. Alright. <laughs> cool. Sure. You know what? Just for that, all my listeners now have to hear me chomping down. <laughs> Shit. It's good though. I like it. And let's see. Let's get a good taste of this stuff. Oh yeah, for uh, for an IPA, that's actually pretty good. It, it's not like super bitter or whatever. And I still got the old horn. The old glass horn. From the days of yore. From eras past. As we know. <sighs> actually, I don't, I don't, I don't think that I don't know if that uh, violates the community guidelines or whatever, but, you know, whatever. We'll find out. Uh, there was something else. Oh, yeah. You know what? I've been... I've also been realizing that I should... I should really go live on Instagram with some of this stuff. Do I want to do it, though? I think so. Nah, not this time. Well, screw it. I'm not going to do it this time around. Uh, I was also thinking about, I kind of wanted to get like a soundboard or something like that. But again, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how to set it up because I, I've looked up like, you know, hey, soundboard program for your computer. And like, it would just give me, it's like, oh, here's an application with like a thousand random sounds. Like, well, I, I don't want, you know car horns and oh gun well, I do want gun noises but I don't know exactly where to find them but but like more I was looking for something that I could um I could like make a recording and then just plug it in but that's you know kind of few and far between and then it's like oh I gotta go through the work of you know finding the right thing which I I did I have a, a couple in mind that I want sound effects wise but yeah it's more work and it's not uh it's not something that's like easily found and i know other podcasts do it i just don't know how and i mean the people who do them don't exactly know how either or rather well the producers do but like the actual hosts and stuff like that they don't know shit and neither do i so that's just me that's my that's my life i'm just a a host. This is the only type of hosting I ever plan on doing. I'm not. I'm not gonna host a restaurant. I'm not gonna like host a show or anything like that. I'm just gonna just this. This right here is my, my domain, so to speak. And I will be expanding my domain. Actually, that's one of the things I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, I am. Reviving Gutsy Ass Gamer or Gutsy A Gamer. Sorry. Uh, you guys here, if you've been watching my Twitch at all, which I, I know you haven't, 
Nobody's been logging in. But uh, I've I, I started a new game because uh, this last time, well, not this last time, but since I've been home, I had the chance to upgrade to a PS5. Uh, not this last Thanksgiving, but like the Thanksgiving before, way back when I had to, you know, run off home. And uh, I got I got one of the ones with the disc slot, which I well I got it for two reasons: a because that was the only one available. And B, I figured like I could take some, maybe take some of my old games and load them in. Now, luckily, ooh, there we go. Uh, ones that I down a lot of the ones that I downloaded on PS4 were like purchased and downloaded. Some of them I can come back and actually play on the five, and then also even um, even like some of the ones I had on disc. So like I could play. Fallout 4 and uh, Assassin's Creed again, if I wanted to, I, I, which I don't, I don't know if I want to get back into them. Cause, well, Fallout is a massive time sink, and so is, so is Assassin's Creed, honestly. But I, I never got the chance to finish it with you guys, and now there, there's been two more since then. They had. Uh, uh, Valhalla came out. That was the uh, the Viking one, and then Mirage kind of went under the radar a bit, but that was uh, it was a uh, you know it's you were an assassin, but in uh, ancient Iraq, I believe, or not 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 quite that ancient. I think it, I think it might have been later, like more Middle Ages, I believe. But yeah, I I might I might get into those. Here. I'm not sure. There's also a whole host of other games that I want to get into, like uh, the last two God of Wars. I played through uh, the first one of those, which was just like you know God of War, and that was the one that they rebranded, where uh, you travel to uh, the Viking lands and basically. Well, I won't spoil it for you, even though it's been out for since 2016. But so I want to play those two through and record it. So waiting on Space Rain. I need to get Hell Divers now. That one, that one looks great. I was, I, I have Mortal Kombat. I don't know. I, I, I was gonna record, uh, like w w each, um, uh, what should I call like invasion cycle? Maybe I still will. Like the, uh, like the seasonal thing, at least until it runs out. It's currently on season four. And basically what it is, it's like a mini, it's like a mini go board type of map thing where like your little character goes through and you just do a bunch of fights and it's just like you get uh, coins and gear and like cosmetic stuff basically. And it's also a good way to level up your character so you can get more of the other stuff in there. But in any case, what I did play is I... Uh, Actually, I, I managed to get it for free because of the PSN, but uh, I played through Ghostwire Tokyo, which came out a little while, uh, a while ago, actually. I think it was like right when the PS5 came out. And I when, when I first saw the ads for it, there wasn't, uh, th they, they didn't really show you too much. Of what was going on like you saw some cinematic stuff and there's like a little bit of gameplay but basically it's it's like a first person shooter but instead of guns you're uh some dude running around in uh shibuya slash tokyo and like spirits have basically taken over all the people that disappeared and instead of guns well you do have a bow but then you have like uh powers and stuff and the the, the funny thing about Actually, the, the funny thing about it is, is it, it kind of came back into my, um, like what I was thinking about more recently, this last time that I was home, uh, because I, well, I started watching anime and stuff too over this last year while I was gone, mostly because I, I think I explained it already last time, so long ass time ago, but since the last episode, um, I had watched... Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, which is a newer series that I, I really like, which I'll, I'll talk about a little bit later. 
which which kind of involves it. Like it's kind of the same, the the story and like the aesthetics of Ghostwire is literally the same as that show. And the, this this game came out before the show, but obviously the manga started a long time ago, which that that's a whole another thing. I I, I would like to have like some of the comics and manga and stuff like that for different things but that's a little harder to access than you know just a streaming service that i'm paying 10 bucks a month for so you know so sue me and like like i said my life finally just now is starting to settle down into like an even thing and then also i uh i i finally watched uh naruto and uh uh, Shippuden, which is, uh, that, that was a lot. It's, how long is it? Shippuden's like 500 episodes, and the original series, like, 200 and, se- I can look it up right now, actually. Let me see. Where are you? Of course I don't have it open. Crunchyroll. Oh, yeah, I switched, uh, because I was originally... On Funimation, and I switched to Crunchyroll because the advertise okay, 220 episodes in the original series, so so that's uh, 700 episodes. It took a very long time <laughs> for me to get through. Like I literally, yeah. So I I I watched the original series pretty much all through December I managed to chew through it and then ship it in literally took me from the middle of January till a few weeks ago here in March so well I, I guess in, in the long scheme of things it wasn't that that much but I mean I was really uh, I was really going at it and then of course if that isn't you know enough they also have Another series in that show, uh, uh, Boruto, which follows his son, and that's already out of like another 250 episodes, or 270, actually, or something insane like that, and I'm up to like 100 now. It, it, it's okay. Well, no, no, it, I, it, it's a good show. The, the first bits are... Like, like, like the, the first few are, like, most of the kid characters are just recycled variations of, like, different combinations of the original characters, because it's like, they're children. And then a lot of the, the storylines are also altered, recycled variations of the original arcs in, like, the, the first part of Naruto. <coughs> but now, now, after, like, episode 60 or 70 or something like that they run together it's starting to get you know unique and good so i am enjoying it i think that's cool stuff but the point that i was bringing up is because one of the gimmicks that they have in naruto is the whole series is about ninja and they all do you know the hand signs and then blast you with uh powers and stuff and that's literally what you do in ghostwire that's the first person shooter like you charge up or like you'll have your like wind powers ready to shoot like some harry potter shit or you could charge it up and you you know fox crane bull blah boom and blast off like a few and (coughs) of course i get a nut stuck in my throat you get your mind out of the gutter or no whatever i'm sure it's happened uh to others in the way that you're thinking boy (laughs) But anyways, the point being is that, yeah, I, re- I really like, uh, the, the game was very interesting to me, and um, I didn't get the 100% completion, but I was able to actually finish and record everything up until a certain point, and I'm probably gonna, like, go back and also record, like, the, you know, the, like, bonus, getting, getting everything, or trying to get that 100%. But for now, I got through, like, the entire storyline, I recorded it, and I've just been working on uh, going through all the clips and editing everything down into, 
you know, the regular gag episodes that I do. So, like, take, taking, like, the longer parts, like, running around stuff and just shorten it down and putting in some of the, some metal track and stuff like, or no. No, uh, Gutsy Ass Game Rooms, Dubstep, and EDM fillers. I was thinking of, uh, the paint booth, which I'm hoping to get back to that as well. Not freezing up. Okay. I want to get back to that as well. I don't know how or when. Just because, you know, whenever we had to move my apartment, like, literally a year ago now. I mean, it, it, it was a it was a chaotic move. Like I said before, my, my roommate and I basically had to clean out a four-bedroom house by ourselves in less than a week. And we, we, we lost a lot of stuff, right? I bought mostly junk, but I mean, still, and I, now I, I have all of my Warhammer stuff, but like, I kind of had to box everything up hastily. So I, I know there's models that are busted probably all over the place and they're all, everything's disorganized, but I now know how, like I, I found on Amazon, they have like these, uh, uh, display slash carry cases where they're, they're clear acrylic but they come with the metal trays so i know fuck goddamn nose is hurting like that that'll be it that's cheaper than uh like the main thing that most people use on the tournament scene all right which i i won't name any brands but there there's one brand that has you know they have a carry case bag and then it has like the the magnetic trays inside there very nice but they're expensive or is it this literally, it's just like a, like I said, it's like a plastic, it, it's probably a little on the cheap end, although the whole thing costs a hundred bucks. So it shouldn't be that cheap, but it's like the plexiglass material for the case. Just got a little crap handle. And then it's got like these metal lunch tray looking things that do you just can magnetize your models and stick them to. So I'm thinking if I get a few of those, I get all my display needs, like organizing needs out of the way. And then I would only have to, uh, depending on like what army that I'm playing with at a time, I can just like bring, you know, that case or two home or whatever and leave everything else in storage for the moment. And then of course there's a little prospect of if I decide to move back home within a few years or whatever. And what is nice is there is a uh, game store nearby and they have people that play Warhammer so there's a bit of the community and I'm still on the team technically even though I've been just on hiatus which is annoying as fuck I hate it I want to play Warhammer like the the real one not not any video games I want to put models on the table dice some my hand Measuring tape, all that shit. But I can't, because I got no room. Uh, I don't have anywhere to stash stuff right now here. I don't have uh, my painting stuff set up, all that's in storage. And the game store that we had went under. There, the, I, there's other ones, but like we, we don't, our team doesn't have like a central point really anymore. And lastly, while I was, you know, away, from LA a new edition came out so I don't even know how to play it anymore I, I do have uh, the rule book because I got oh, I sorry guys my nose is itching like crazy I got uh, like the mini version of the rule book because I, I, I got one of the uh, starter sets for free actually because I, I traded in like a bunch of my old uh, magic cards like literally right at the end of our store being open which kind of sucks because i was also gonna offload all my commons for like a bulk price or like bulk credit but the they the, i remember like they, they said like oh bring it back in two weeks 
just so that we're not, you know, uh, offloading like all of our credit at once, right? Because I guess legally they have to set aside money for something like that anytime you do some type of store credit. But so two weeks pass, I go in, but uh, uh, the guy I was working with me wasn't there, it was one of the managers. And then the next week, I try going in, they're like, oh shit, this is a good time for you. Come back tomorrow or something like that. Okay, fine. Then I find out, store's closing. And they said, like, well, I, you know, we got approved to, uh, if you want to bring your cards in whenever we open up the new place, which should be in November, which never happened. So, I still got a few boxes of commons and uncommons that are just sitting there, which would have been nice, but at the same time, I was able to get like over 500 bucks just for my binder, and uh, I had like a box of bulk rares and stuff like that, they were all worth like 10 cents pop or something like that, so I was able to get, I was able to grab quite a bit of stuff, I managed to get a starter set and like a bunch of other models, and namely the, by starter set, I mean the uh, the Leviathan one that has uh, that had all the new green and uh, Tyranid models that they were coming out with. Not all of them, just a bunch. And since then, there's been a bunch of other new stuff. So, whatever. I got a lot of catch up to do someday, whenever I get to it. Are you listening to this show and thinking, man, I'd like to start a podcast, but I don't even know where to start? Well, Buzzsprout has the answers for you. Buzzsprout is a podcast hosting service that provides a number of valuable resources to help you on your podcasting career path. For one, Buzzsprout offers indefinite hosting of all your episodes and allows you to host as much material as you want, depending on the type of subscription that you opt for. Buzzsprout also provides a means for getting your show hosted to every major podcasting platforms such as iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, you name it. In addition, Buzzsprout also provides various means to get your show monetized through various sponsorship and affiliate programs, links to other paid hosting platforms such as Patreon and YouTube, and your own personal newsroom to learn all the tips and tricks for optimizing your podcast for the greatest return on your investment. If you're hearing all this and you're still interested, you can go to my link below and receive an an Amazon gift card for starting a podcast hosting subscription that you'll receive on the second billing period of your podcast journey. Everyone has something to share and there's no time like the present. Join Buzzsprout today. up with everything my my uber eats rank is gone to the toilet at least my venue venue work's been great there's only like one that i haven't really been able to get back to but i mean it's been kind of till then and then just i i was i got together with like some of my old vfx friends a little bit but not as much as i like because i i do want to try and find like some kind of work from home deal so that it would be like like just something I could do on like my laptop or whatever just so like I can go back and forth between you know here in my hometown and it's like I, I wouldn't even really have to decide on one really I could just I could just do whatever I want but so that, that's what I'm working on we'll see or you know maybe I'll finally figure out crypto and stuff and Get, get that working or something. I don't know. Or better yet, I can go with my uh, fail-safe plan of just win the lottery. Bitch. That's probably never going to happen. But hey, who knows? You know, I already... I've done my research. I kind of know what to do if I win. <laughs> Now, notice said I researched what to do, not oh what do I want, you know. No, I know exactly what to do. 
Uh, take the lumps. If you ever win, take the lump sum. Why? Because then your money is held by you. Do you have to uh, cut it in half for taxes? Yes, you do. But if you do payouts, you know, like let, let's say something happens to the lotto company, maybe, maybe they stop paying you, right? And then the, and, and then like, like what, what are you going to do? You're going to sue? Like, I'm not getting my free money anymore. <laughs> like, whatever. Or maybe the government would be like, well, they were a, a fraud or whatever. And we can't investigate it at all. And, you know, too bad, so sad. Boo hoo hoo. So, if you win, get the lump sum in your bank account. And then. My plan, at least, like right off the bat, is to put three million. That, that, again, just assuming this is my wild, wild fantasies over here. No, uh, no dragons or lasers, just money. And then I would use the money for the to find the dragons and lasers and get them in my life. But anyways, no, put put like a a good chunk of money. Just in ETFs, not like everything, everything, just enough so that if, uh, so like I said, 3 million, right? Because ETFs are more likely to have, uh, dividend payouts. And there's one in particular that I use that, uh, pays out a decent amount, which I obviously in, in my case, it's nothing, right? I have one that I have, uh, like 5,500 bucks in, I get $26 a month out of that. But that's higher than, that's a higher percentage than a lot of other ones would be. And usually uh, they pay out quarterly instead of monthly. But the point being is, so like, for example, let's say I put a million into that ETF. I had calculated it out to where I would get like 50 grand a year just deposited into my thing and I have to pay taxes or whatever obviously but then like if you put other money in other spots you could uh that 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 would be like your passive income and then depending on how much you want you still have like several million other to do whatever like you get your house not a huge not a mansion I don't need that like I don't I don't, I don't need one of these mansions where there's like a, like I have my family and guards and stuff like that. Maybe like a condo or something, but no, I want a house. There needs to be some walls around it. And depend, yeah, like, like the, the kind of thing where I wouldn't need that kind of assistance, where I'd just be kind of like alone. Would be nice. Let's some cameras. And, you know, a partner or whatever. But yeah, and then you can kind of just uh, live your life a bit, figure out how to like apply your cash or whatever so that you're helping the community because you know, I would anyway. And then there you go. And then and then that way, if you have your money in, you know, like uh, something that's earning dividends like that separate from your actual bank accounts and then like let's say you get robbed or something like that like okay well well of course they're going to go for the bank they're not going to go for your app that you're using maybe they will if they're smart enough but probably not and the only one who cares is you so you know protect yourself but the point being is like you know if like my bank got cleaned out, I would still have uh, this thing that's given me like <clears throat> 80, 90 grand a year. Great. Or more, depending, you know, whatever. Anywho, so what was I saying? 
I don't know what I was saying. But going back to, like I said, I was I I finished Ghostwire. I uh, recorded it for you guys. I have it on Twitch. It's probably gone now because they only save videos for like a few days, or what have you. But well, that's what this is. I need a call. But yeah, I've been I've been working on putting the episodes down. So I'm gonna start releasing the first few. At uh, I, I I'm gonna say the beginning of April. And since there are gonna lot there, there are gonna lot. It's gonna be a lot of episodes, so I'm think I'm gonna do it like twice a week. I think that I put it out because like like I literally. I've been through the first uh, five clips that I recorded. I recorded like 22 clips, each one like an average of an hour and a half, two hours or whatever. And I already have like 20 some episodes. I barely even started. So yeah, it's going to be a lot. So I'm thinking if I do like Tuesdays, Thursdays or whatever, it'd be great. Also speaking of posting. One thing that I know I, I'm getting into some semantic bullshit on you guys, but the website that I was using to uh, do like my Instagram posts and Facebook posts and all that stuff that which I, I was doing because you could like set times and dates, right? So I could just load them all up in the future instead of having to coming back every single day or whatever and then like transferring stuff to the phone and then doing it that way. Yeah, no, screw that. I can just do it on like one site. I'm not paying for it, so I can only do up to 10 posts at a time. But what I like is that they actually fixed uh, being able to send stuff to Reels and TikToks, which doesn't matter anymore because apparently TikTok's banned. Actually, what? I haven't actually opened TikTok in ages. Now I'm curious. Your account was logged out. Let me see. Use Facebook. Open. Okay. What does TikTok have to say? Yes. Continue as myself. Let's go back to TikTok. What's going on? What is my birthday? What? I have an account. Whatever. Oh, probably just more age restriction. Crap. Well, I am quite old. Yep, that's me. Wait a minute. Oh, son of a bitch. That's not a wanted. I don't know. It created. I, I thought I was going into the uh, the multi media account, but instead I just accidentally created or I I logged in through my regular Facebook. So now there's a now there's a random account with my name that I don't use. Great. That's probably it's probably a good thing. I should probably do something about that. But I'm not going to. Not right now, anyway. So you know what? In th 30 years, if you ever get like some weird messages from me saying like I need uh, money to get out of jail, or like I'll marry you and give you your English or American citizenship, it's not me. All right? Hell no. I don't want to talk to you in the first place. I just want to talk at you, which is what I'm doing right here, right now. Hell yeah. The f what else was I talking about? But yeah, so there's going to be some new Gutsy S Gamer episodes coming out pretty soon. Uh, I am brainstorming another series too actually speaking of since i was saying that you know i've started watching anime and stuff like that i i'm thinking about doing like my own little watch along
I heard a noise. But I've been thinking about doing like my own little watch along type of deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and be quieter because it's, it's quite late here. Uh, for anime, I just don't know what I want to call it yet. And uh, since it's YouTube, I'll have to like blur out the uh, the actual video and mute the, deaden the sound a bit so that you can't actually discern anything. Kind of like a regular watch along type of deal, but I you know, you'll get it. So I don't I don't think there's a way to do it uncensored legally, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Oh fuck! It's only been forty minutes. Shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to call it yet. I I did have the idea of maybe calling it like the Square Ad Cinema, just because I when I was thinking about it, I was remembering you know my dad would always say. You're, you're you're gonna your eyes are gonna go square if you're watching the TV too much down there, but it's a little lame, so I don't know. Now I also, I also my brain kept saying like, oh, call it like Poncho Wacho, or something. Yeah, that's that's dumb as fuck. I can't do that. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what to call it, but. I know the first series that I was thinking about watching is I want to keep it like to short stuff, not to the huge long series. But I was um I uh I have a Ninja Scroll uh bookmarked for watch and that that's only 12 episodes. So like something like that would be perfect, right? Cuz I'm not I'm not like cutting up anything. I'm just I'm just putting the episode on and just I would, I would just be like reacting reacting so dumb uh, just be like yeah reacting commenting live as the episode is playing so that that would be that'd be a nice little thing but yeah so I I, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with that yet but I'm gonna do something along those lines and then hopefully Someday. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> no more candy. Hopefully someday I'll get back to painting. Because that's one of the reasons I started doing all of this. Actually, it was just uh, another another way to get my, uh, my love of Warhammer out. And turn it into also this. I guess, kind of. Actually, I don't really remember. I know, well, I started in a closet, first of all, and then I came out of the closet as an entertainer, apparently, or <laughs> something like that. Now, I, I think, because I'm planning on uh, traveling back home this last week of March, as you're watching now, and then, uh, you know, staying for like a month or something like that. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe maybe during that time because like now I don't actually have to do anything. I, I have like one or two things to help my mom with, but they're not like this grueling physical task like cleaning out our ch my childhood home by myself. That was a bitch. I hated it. Ha have your affairs in order, please. Don't be a hoarder. It sucked. So I did that. Uh, and probably, I, I'm thinking during that time, I should be able to like come up with a name for that series and I'd be able to watch, you know, that whole show pretty easily and just do it like, like in two nights it'd be, it'd be nothing. So it'll be on the way that. And, uh, I look forward to, you know, having time to like actually start working out again because my, my back's just been. A mess. I'm actually thinking about uh, looking into stem cell therapy. I don't know what good that will do, but at least the place that I looked up close, that's kind of close to my apartment, they, they they specifically have a section like, you know, for back pain, for example. So it's not, I, I'm not the first person to think about this, luckily, because I'm pretty sure what I'm dealing with because like I, I had part of my disc removed uh, 
back when I was a teen, like literally right after high school. And uh, it's just never been the same since. And I, I think that like my disc is degraded a little bit like on one side because, you know, now I'm having the problem where like I'll, I'll look in the mirror, especially when my back's like really hurting really bad. And I'll see that like my entire upper body is shifted over to one side and then also twisted a little bit. So it's like I'm 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 literally slipping off of my own base. And then my sciatic nerves gets on that and it hurts like a bitch. But I mean So yeah, that's why I want to look into like the stem cell thing cuz if it's not too <coughs> God, I got something stuck in my nose. <laughs> boogers but if it's not too pain or if it's not too what was it expensive and it, it like it works pretty well i could do something like that to you know regrow my disc because otherwise the only thing that i could do would be like to get like a titanium disc which is gonna cost an arm and a leg and not really necessary in my case so i wouldn't be able to get it or just like some type of fusion but again you know mine it's not that bad it's just i have to constantly work at it but it's annoying because it's a problem that like most other people don't have like i i get now like or to make you understand it like what most people feel when it, whenever they like like the anger that you feel when you see like some rich kid who's just always been well off and didn't have to struggle or anything i have that same thing when i just see like you know just regular dumb people walking around like normal or you know running and stuff like that I'm like i can't i can't do that half the time i can't even do that in the morning most of the time it's bullshit so it would be nice if that was no longer the case is what I'm getting at. And I, I'm sure you inferred that as well. Ah. But yeah. Uh, so I'm dealing with that. but And I also know that like I well since, since this whole time like I've been off my gym track for like a, almost two years now I've definitely I'm, I'm overweight for sure and I, I'm sure that's uh like my stomach's probably pulling on my back which just isn't helping but I fear I get some time we'll lose some weight I should start uh you know rewinding the clock back a bit and It'll be good for me. As long as I'm not, you know, chugging these all the time. <laughs> Which is pretty much all there is to do back home. And I, I, I get it. It's kind of alluring because... It's funny. I was just thinking about this. I, I was eating at Buffalo Wild Wings earlier. Ding. Uh, and their house beer here... It, it, it's like a... Like Kolsch style beer, or something I, I don't remember. I'm lying. It's good though, but their their deal is like their house beer is only four fifty for a glass, whereas everything else is you know the eight or nine bucks like it is in L.A. or here in L.A. Back home, uh, they do not have that four fifty deal for their in house beer because every single beer in Aberdeen, South Dakota, which is middle of the Midwest. Is four dollars and fifty cents. There's no deal to be had. It's not you. You would have to be. You'd have to be like dollar pints, or something insane like that. Which I, I don't think. They never did uh, dollar beer deals back home. That used to be a college thing. And the only place that I knew, or well, yeah, my my old. Uh, school bar back in the day well they're, they're gone actually no they didn't do dollar beers this was uh the old uh the j back down in omaha it was it was like the school bar 
now it's just a, a grass field. Great. But uh, pr probably because they had like an open kitchen in the middle of the bar that they never used. And I'm sure never did a damn thing with. Among other things. There, there's, that place was fucked, right? I'm sure they got busted for like some underage shit too. But, uh... <clears throat> What was I saying? Oh yeah, no, they they didn't do dollar beers. They did uh every Creighton game night there was a free keg and they would just put out like little Dixie cups of beer until it was gone. So there was that that that's only like a hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. But what was it? No, and then there, there was another place that I used to go to, uh out in West O. Caddyshack, shout out. Uh, I had a friend that used to work there, but, uh, well, A, she's not there anymore, and B, she's not my friend anymore, so fuck it. But they they had Dollar Beer Wednesdays, and I, there's nothing like that here in LA. Well, oh no, I'm lying. Uh, one of the places that I go to every once in a while, they have, uh, you can buy like a, like a two for one for an extra dollar for pints, or like upgrade to a big one. For an extra dollar. So there's that. And they seem to do okay business wise. So. Who knows. Maybe there's something shady. Going on. But I doubt it. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to. Uh, spending some time home again. Which is. Uh, this show. I'll be home. When this episode comes out. You know, seeing some of my uh, new friends that I made over this last year. And uh, a couple old ones, too, ideally. Every every once in a while, I would run into, like, some of my old school friends. Or classmates, at least. Yeah, people I was cool with. But, like, they're, they're, all, they're all family family men now. Uh, I haven't seen any of the girls, because they're, they're all off being nurses in other parts of the country or doing other things i was like a couple teachers some other stuff i don't know I'm talking on my ass don't worry about it but they're they're not there anymore yeah it'll be it'll be nice like this time it'll be an actual vacation not just like you know ha 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 uh work vacay something like that it's like a taking your laptop to a vacation but negative infinity in the wrong way All right. and I might even have to do some content while I'm there so you guys can peep uh, the old family place a little bit kind of I don't know we'll see what happens uh what what do I want? My 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 trip back might be delayed a little bit because my fucking car broke down again. Uh, th this time I found out uh this morning it was the the fuel pump it busted somehow and apparently uh the battery needs to be replaced, which is kind of suspicious because. I just had a new battery put in that car two months ago. Of course, I don't have the invoice on me because it's, you know, 1,500 miles away back home. And it's like, well, well, nothing I can do. Maybe they installed it wrong or something like that. And who knows? Like, I, I had a warning right when it broke down that there was like a, a circuit overloaded somewhere. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. I hope not. But, uh, yeah, my, my ship broke down, like, literally on the ramp coming out of the parking garage that we use at work. So that was embarrassing. Luckily, there there's more room. And there's, like, two exits on opposite sides. They're on opposite sides of the building. But still. So I, like, I couldn't push it forward. And I couldn't, I couldn't back up either. Because there was, like, cars coming out as well. And this was, I, I didn't get a tow truck out there until like 
midnight and I brought it from, you know, my work in Hollywood, middle of Hollywood to Van Nuys, which I mean, it's, what was it like 20 miles? I think so that alone was like 400 bucks. And then of course the dealership or my, my, the place that I, you know, have it serviced and where I actually got the car. They get a long ass wait list and they're like, oh, you know, it's like a uh, one to two weeks for us to get through it. Well, they, they finally called this morning and said, you know, they asked to start the service, which I said, yes, because I need a car, but, uh, I need to call again tomorrow to try and get an ETA and, uh, yeah, hopefully I get in the afternoon because I also got a rental vehicle in the meantime just because I still have some uh, shifts left and if it was just Hollywood like I I could have dealt with taking the subway it would suck especially the way back just because you know the the buses don't don't run for like like from two to four or just nothing which is annoying but I mean, like I guess I could have ubered Nice and late in the middle of the night. But the problem was I also still had four more shifts uh, downtown. And that that's a whole other story. So I wasn't about to do that. Especially because... Uh, well, and that and just on top of that, since I, I now live in Sherman Oaks instead of uh, North Hollywood, I'm... I'm a lot, but before I was only like five blocks away from a, uh, one of the major bus stop, the orange line, where you can actually buy the tap and all that stuff. But now where I'm at, I'm so much further away, like several miles. So I would have to, I would have to get a ride to the bus station and, or take one of those uh, scooters. And like that whole thing would just take, it would take hours just to get to work. So. I wasn't going to do that. Uh, so, yeah, so I, I rented and I got a, uh, a four-door truck, which was actually kind of good because we had some, st damn it, we had some stuff in our uh, parking area that we weren't able to get to uh, my storage unit. So I actually took care of that earlier today. And it's just nice. Oh, my throat's getting all stuck up. So, yeah, I'm getting... I also took an edible before this, so that, that's coming in pretty strong. My voice is already cracking. I'm uh, uh, <laughs> flying back through my puberty, it sounds like. So, I'm going to go ahead and... So you, know, you know what's funny? I just noticed, like, I don't... I don't, I don't have, like, a lot of... Uh, my face really doesn't move that much. Like, I, I know that I, I'm not very uh, expressive facially, but, like, you, you can't really, like, I'm frowning, I'm normal, whatever type of thing. You don't really see it that much. You get, like, a little bit of a twitch. That, that is, that's cool, I think. It's a secret agent, man. See, <laughs> or something. Anyways, so, if... If I don't come back and record some more, well, then, you know, I'm glad to be back. And, well, I'll see you guys next, uh, either in five seconds or next month. So, let's get off Twitter.